Hello everyone, welcome to another Isaac run. My, my voice is going slightly rattly, I don't know if that is coming across in the microphone. Oh, it's going to be a lost run. Let's go to the end of our streak. I'm doing a random streak. Um, call it a streak. I'm doing a random... It could have been a streak. We could still win this. Um, it's ob obviously a lot less likely being a lost run rather than an Isaac run, but we'll see how it goes. When we can fly, we have the option to get stuff that we will there that would otherwise sort of gate us. Like this bomb here. We could put this bomb down and get an amazing return on it. Or we could get nothing from it, but we certainly wouldn't be able to get anything from it if we couldn't get it in the first place, so oh, it gives us another bomb. Thanks for making my point clear for me. Pretty sure this does literally nothing as a loss, because if it ever becomes active, we're already dead. <coughs> um, I'm not currently too enamoured by my street. I mean, I'm mean, not trying to build it up and I'm not concerned by it and it's not a thing that I'm aiming for. It's just nice to sort of know how well I'm doing. If I was aiming at a streak, I'd probably do a streak of a specific type rather than just randoms. Uh, which I'm obviously not. A third bomb would be great to get in here. But what I am doing is trying to get to real Platinum God and, uh, well, yes, but trying to get to 1,001%. Trying to do it on camera. So, here's the camera. If the game would oblige with any of the items I need. The third item, by the way, Crown of Light. I think we have seen it. We saw it on the Nintendo-themed daily. I think. I do seem to remember that. Um, it gives you a damage bonus when you have full red HP. Uh, provided you don't get hit on the room. Come on now. I don't want these things to explode next to me. I do have Holy Mantle. I mean, Lost Runs will do now. I've unlocked everything, so... Lost runs have holy man, so that was ballsy, but it happened, so uh, not dead. Uh, Keeper has the coin to flip. All that sort of thing. It's great. That was exactly the chain reaction I was hoping for. It gets us through this floor a little bit quicker, out of that room a little bit faster, and a little bit more peace of mind for me. We are basically guaranteed to get every single deal with the devil that the game will allow us to get. Because there's no way we can take red heart damage. I'm very much trying to avoid pressing the space bar because if I press the space bar, I end up re-rolling my run, losing holy mantle, and losing the run. But um, the reason I mentioned the streak is that you tend to sort of impose upon yourself rules as to how the streak counts. What counts as being a win. Um, for example, if you're doing a lost streak, or a Eden streak, or a Keeper streak even, you may impose a rule that respawning as another character ends the streak, even though it still counts as a win as far as the game's concerned. Uh, similarly, you may say, you know, if you do it on purpose, but not by accident, that would count. Uh, that's, that's just okay, I think. In this case, if we get Dark Judas, or similar. Mostly Dark Judas is what I'm after. I'm probably going to keep it. I'm probably going to take it, and I'm probably going to not immediately use it because it's a fallback. You know, we have a lot of benefits as a lost. The ability to fly in spectral tears being notably two, but of course the ability to never get hit, well not twice, is uh, somewhat of a, a damper on that. You know, it's, it's the cost of doing business here. So, oh shit, we got hit. <laughs> Fuck. Panic reroll? Sorry. <laughs> I can only apologise for that. Let's try it again. Curse of the Labyrinth. Shitty item. Good start. There goes our streak. I know what I was saying. Um, the streak was like to die. We had a two streak, but I was randoming. We random the lost. A loss is a difficult character to win with, especially if you go into a curse room and accidentally get hit. That is guaranteed to end it. But I'm not here for the streak. What I'm here for is Godhead, Immaculate Conception, and Crown of Light. So if the game would like to give me any of those three, we will make some progress towards 1,001%. 
if I were trying to do a streak, I would probably select the characters rather than let them fall into my lap. Or at least, you know, try and do a random streak, but play better. By which I mean, be more selective about curse rooms as a lost. Only go in there if you have a contingency plan to get out. There's not that many things that can be useful for you as a lot. Well, I suppose a lot of the curse room items can be damage upgrades and things like that. So, it is often a good cost-benefit situation to actually go for it. Oh, that's another familiar. Demon Burry's... Demon Burry? That's a, a plant. A demon Baby is at least a functional familiar. It does a lot of damage when things get close to us. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not sweating the loss of that streak. At some point in the future, on this exact series, we will be streaking. Um, I mean, feel free to join in. And when that happens, I'll probably start showing the seeds. Maybe I'll just start showing the seeds anyway. Here we go. 7BZWCYSS if you want to play along. There's the seed. I'm going to try and remember to put it in the description as well. It's a thing I stole from Northern Lion. It's not like I've uh, invented that concept. But I assume people want to see it, so I'm showing it. And if you want to play along, play along. Of course, you need to have the same items unlocked as I do, but it just means that your run will be slightly different. Which uh, I think adds a lot of variety to the game and makes it interesting. You can let me know in the comments if you care to about how your run went with a different set of items. Unlocked, of course I've got everything unlocked, they just need to show up. So if you don't have X, Y and Z unlocked, different things will show up in those positions, which is uh, an interesting take to the whole mechanic of the game. And of course you can try and beat me on score as well. But you have to, of course, unlock the whole way that we actually end up going. Guess we're going to the boss. <laughs> this is. Let's try and use a bomb here. That basically ends. This is a damage upgrade, so I will take it. I was about to get salted, but we got given an HP upgrade as the loss. But an HP and damage upgrade is at least useful. And if the little horn wants to keep exploding himself, I'm also down with that. Get in range of my demon baby. Sort it out. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. That is a useless item. You can't re-roll it. This is a great item. We will take it. I don't care. Again, I know two of the items we need are angel room items. We could get chaos. We could get... Something. I don't think there's another way of getting them. But we could also get Crown of Light, which is the third item we need. Uh, pardon me. I'm reasonably sure that is not what happened just now, so if you'd like to reevaluate the way that went down, I'll sit here and wait. I demand a recap. I predict a riot. Well, we didn't get hit a second. Didn't get hit a second time, he says. Almost getting hit a second time and having to eat his words. Any cash there. That can um, certainly help us out on a, a shop binge. We want to go shopping? We might just go window shopping for now. But we may be able to get something. Guppy? Lots of bombs. Do not fancy the troll bombs. Oh, pardon me. I've already been hit. This is outrageous. Can these. Uh, can we have a pill that is. Reset any item that you lose on the room. You know, like a crown of light or holy mantle or whatever we had earlier. Hold on. Oh shit. Lockdown is not great, but at least it wasn't paralysis. <laughs> Realised that was a terrible idea. Get these broken down to the first stage and then beat the crap out of them. Get some spread out a little bit at least, and then you can. Uh, Start dealing damage. Okay, good. We survived somehow. We've got amnesia. Great. What a splendid and horrendous kill situation we have here. We're doing still a little bit more damage. I'm not feeling confident. I'm not feeling, you know, demoralized or anything. It's just that I don't feel like we have the strength necessary to really give ourselves a good chance at a win as a loss. 
I mean, Demon Baby is fine, but Robo Baby is basically useless. It'll do a little bit of damage in an unpredictable way. If you put it in certain places. But otherwise, it's just... It has no value to me. It does me no good. Like, what's it doing over there? It's just flown past those two enemies and completely ignored them, which is... Kind of why I don't really like Robo Baby 2.0. They say they works out all the kinks, but it's actually worse than Robo Baby 1.0. I would like to replace our spaceball item as well. So there's many things we could be taking or being offered instead of Robo Baby 2.0. But no, nope, got Robo Baby 2.0. So there's that retro vision. It's one of those. You know, it's an aesthetic. It's a cosmetic hill. Changes the way things look in a mildly annoying way. Somewhat like the Curse of Darkness, but Curse of Darkness can actually cause you to walk into spiders and stuff like that, so it does have its... It is a curse, the Curse of Darkness. Retro is just a pest. Rubber Baby 2.0 actually did some damage just now, so can't be too upset by that. I'm pretty sure it just shoots at stuff, but... We've got a guppy item. It doesn't help us in any way whatsoever. Can't even use it. Ah... Uh... Might as well keep the D4. And the High Priestess here can help us with the boss that we are having trouble with. So it's also worthwhile. Tell you what, Demon Baby makes short work of these flies that I can't work out how to tank, how to control. Just let them get near you, Demon Baby will sort them right out. Uh, okay. <laughs> Brilliant. If you want to make that even remotely palatable, I'd be happy. How do you deal with these rooms? Honestly, I, I would take so much damage on these rooms earlier on before I played Isaac until my eyes bled, but now, you know, you sort of you get used to the patterns, you get used to the timings. Did I just pick up two nickels at once? Close. Um, and you just sort of deal with it. Oh, it comes sort of second nature. It's not quite second nature because I still make mistakes and I get bad at it sometimes, but then that's true of my first nature as well. I mean, I've been speaking English since as long as I can remember. And I'm still bad at that, as you no doubt are aware. Sure. A card against humanity. Mm, what can we get from these? Money. What's the money going to do for us? Buy us a key? I suppose so. I'll buy a key and I'll buy a... Oh, let's, let's take that. Don't really care for shiny rocket. Only really... It tells us about... Um, tinted drops. It makes tinted drops flash. Which, mm, don't really care. I mean, I could get small rock, but carrying... A, a trinket for the express purpose of getting small rock. Do you know what? Why don't I just fucking pop them like this? How many of you are sitting there going, use the item that has no other value... You're right. I was wrong. I apologise. We now have 55 cents. Uh, we'll just use a high priestess at some point now. Not right now, I guess, because this room would not really benefit from it. But any room where we're in trouble, Mother Mary comforts me. I will let the high priestess be. Stamped down from Pon High. I'm quite sure how the high priestess gets here, but... I'll allow it. You're firing at nothing, and yet you refuse to fire at things that are right in front of your fucking face. You can understand why I don't really have a huge amount of respect for this item. We do have nine lives, and we have picked up Guppy's paw. So it's only one Guppy item, and then we're sorted. I mean, we're not literally sorted. This would have been a good time to use it. Yes, you're right. Help. Oh, you fucking what? It's the one that does that shit. Better be careful, then. Yeah, do that more often. See if I give a shit. Oh, God. How do you avoid those fishes? We're going to be doing this nine fucking times. Watch this. Ow. Do anything but the fisher attack. Fucking fisher price bullshit. Our range is not quite enough that we can stay out of range of that quick jump and still hit it. 
super annoying. And our eight fucking P. I'm always going in the wrong direction for those things. Not our HP. Our DPS is so low that we're going to be here forever. Apparently, not only does it do the bullshit Fisher attacks, but also produces a shitload of poops, but also has way more HP than the other one. <laughs> or at least as much as. If we're going to have a champion version, at least remove one of the challenges of it, i.e. give it way less HP. Robo Baby is doing some damage. We haven't been hit yet. Famous last words. Yeah. We're okay. I don't want to be near it when it does... I want to hit it while it's doing other stuff, right? You know what? Ah! Don't do that again. Five minutes. Let's make Robo Baby do some work. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just be over there. Here's another one. How the fuck do we intentionally avoid that? You think maybe you stand not horizontally to it? The fish just chase you, man. Rubber baby, you do all the work. Shoot it. Get rubber baby over here. We can do this. We've nearly done this. It's done. Whew. We only lost three lives <laughs> doing that. It's fine. Sorry for shouting down the microphone, but not sorry because I'm amazing. Look. I wasn't a fan of that room, you can no doubt tell. Room? Floor? Life? Greed. Why is Greed here? I didn't sign up for this. Stop making those assholes. I'm trying to dodge his shots and also <laughs> hit him <laughs> with my own shots. Ah, oh, bastard. Can't teleport out of the room that you teleported into. Because that's your teleport destination. Right. Plenty of money, but nothing to do with it because our shop had greed in it, which is just BS. Uh, honestly, I thought we had <coughs> the uh, Curse of the Lost on this floor, but apparently we don't. Like, the map was blank, I thought, when I first joined the floor, but apparently not. No. No, 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 no. Something died, so that's helpful. Man, these things remind me of the Mancubus from uh, Doom, because they're always firing one thing that's going to hit you and one thing that will hit you if you try and dodge. Just, just chill out. At least one of them landed on the spikes somehow. I didn't think they would do that, but apparently they will. Come on. How much HP have you got? Get the fuck out of that! We can have some, uh, some damage available to us there. Can't really do anything in that room, but... I honestly don't know what version of the arcade we could do something in now I think about it. Maybe we could get some consumables. We could spend money in the arcade rather than get money from the arcade. Was my thinking. But I'm not gonna, so... Maybe I shouldn't have spent the penny to get in? It's a penny. Of course, I didn't actually spend a penny. I didn't need to go, shit. Yeah, I knew I was taking damage there. Wouldn't mind finding an ice room that has something in it that is not shit. Great, a fucking black heart. So glad. Look at what we've got. I want to replace my spaceball item. The game obliged by giving me one of the worst spaceball items in the fucking game. Fucking... Popping rocks. Jeez. I mean, I guess we could... Like break these mushrooms, because it doesn't matter if we get hit. As long as we didn't get hit on the room, we can go ahead and burst mushrooms right. Did I lose a charge? Did it remove my charge because I still had it active when I picked up a battery charge? That may be the case. This is the best way of dealing with this, in my opinion. Thank you. Plenty of keys. More kids than I'd expect. Pyromaniac is fabulous. It basically wins us the mom fight. Not sure whether that was a great idea because it occurs to me that if any of the other mushrooms had popped with a fart. Wow. <laughs> Did we survive that? What's happening? Um, we may have lost the holy mantle refractory period and killed ourselves, so. Obviously, we have nine lives. 
more like six, I think. We haven't really improved ourselves at all on this run. It's threatening to be a really, really train wreck run. I mean, Pyromaniac is great. We don't have to worry about those explosions, but... I mean, who gives a shit about any of the rest of this run? Nothing we've picked up is really going to convince me that we've got a good chance. We have to do a lot better than this. We've already been hit by a random polycephalus explosion shots. Ah! Hate them. Plus, we have to convince it to stick its head up by getting really close to it. So it would be really terrific if it would go out of its way to give me some sort of orbital. We're going to have to get uncomfortably close to enemies. At least we could have an orbital to deal with it. Dark Bum has no value for us. But Ceremonial Robes has great value for us because it's an excellent damage upgrade. This also has no value for us, but we're going to take it anyway because it was there. Why does Dark Bum have no value? Well, normally Dark Bum is like, yeah, 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 great. A load of Spirit Hearts. Spirit Hearts can do nothing for us. We cannot get value out of Spirit Hearts at all. Maybe a couple of points, but we're not playing for points. So the only other thing that Dark Bum can give us is friendly spiders and unfriendly spiders. Um, which is a very rare payout, but they're about equally as likely. Well, not very rare. They're equally as likely as one another, so we have about 50% chance to get uh, a good payout whenever we get not a spirit heart payout. Which is maybe, call it a third of the time, that means a sixth of the time we will get one friendly spider. That's a lot of waiting on Dark Bum to pick shit up. Just get the occasional friendly spider. How the f fuck am I supposed to deal with this thing? Maybe get rid of everything else in the room first? Maybe use a bomb? Yeah, a bomb will work. Let's do this. Here we go. Good. Good thinking. Maybe use a bomb on this one as well to try and get it out of here. Use, um, Robo Baby. Die. Robo Baby, actually hit the enemy, please. Fuck me. What a room. We survived it, though. Let's touch and go. Didn't they? They, they were a 70s band, weren't they? Touch and go. Am I thinking of OK Go? I'm thinking of OK Go. What the... Surely those are touch and go band. What did they do, though? Infested? We've actually bona fide got amnesia this time, so. I mean, Curse of the Lost. We went that way, right? Yeah, yeah. We've been all that way. We decided not to do the mob trap room because the mob trap room is just a grey chest. Good work. Well done on stepping in front of that thing. It wasn't a terrible idea or anything. So we're going to jeopardise the whole mission. The mission to collect any of the items that you're missing. I wonder how rare the items are. I mean, I know that they're rare as a result of the fact that um, it's rare to get anything from an angel room. And we're not doing an angel room. But still. Give me half a chance, right? Could sleep in the bed, but it would only give us three spirit hearts we can't do anything with. Unlike the keeper, spirit hearts don't even give you flies as the lost. They just literally do nothing at all. We'll check the secret room, which is always a secret room. Why am I dodging bombs? Because I had only just remembered that we're immune to them. Which I should have realised when I didn't get the flashy effects when the bomb in the devil deal hit us and I didn't get the blinky thing from uh, Holy Mantle. Fuck. These are so bad. Any more buddies and I'm going to turn into a buddy. Yeah, I'll take a look up. Um... It's not really what we want. That's definitely not super secret. Oh, God. <laughs> what do? This enemy is almost impossible to not get hit by. Like, at what point do we get a respite from all this crap? I assume there's patterns here and I could be paying attention to them. But there's just so much stuff happening all at once. I don't know how to learn these patterns. Turn him into the version that we can just about deal with. I just beat Brownie without getting hit. So, suck on it, everybody else in the entire world. I am the best. 
We'll move on down. We're doing very badly in terms of time. We found all the rooms that we care about. Ah, oh, did we find? Yeah, we found the shop, and it was greed. I'm gonna use the moon to get out of here. Here's super greed. Not my favourite. Got hit by super greed. Don't get hit again by super greed. Because then you will die. Fuck. Did get hit? We got hit. Ah, this is too hard. Okay, good. Got hit again. This is not in the operational handbook. That gives us a chance to respawn as Blue Baby, which I'm honestly not that enamoured with. Great. We rolled a key and a key into a penny and a key. Oh no, we rolled everything on the ground. Of course we did. Press them. There's a key. Well, now we've got almost no functional difference at all out of that. Let's not fight Super Greed, even though it could give us a quarter. I'm not bothered by a quarter. We've got 69 cents. Don't even think it can give us a steam sail. Ooh, the mulligan. It's like a poor man's guppy. Every six rooms. Oh, great. What are we on here? Acropolis 2? No more item rooms, so there's no point taking that. There's a steam sale, but there's no more shops, so there's no point taking that. There's a key, but we've got plenty, so there's no point taking that. <laughs> Just blow this up before you do that again. Nearly ruined everything. Don't know how many lives we've got left, but I did forget that we had nine at one point. Two champions with... Oh no, only one of them has actually got a, a vortex going on, but come on. Everything's a champion in here. I'm not even going to let them out. Oh my god, they're all still alive. How are you all still alive? Oh, no, I have this. That's much better. Open sesame. Hello? There we go. Where did that, um... Where did that trinket come from, please? Great, it's bandit. Color me enthused. By a whole... Several... Friendly spiders. Uh, this is a good room to have at least the notched axe on. Once it's empty. Once the doors are open and we can leave. The explosion from these, of course, don't hurt us, but the bones from them still do. Now that we can leave, we can spawn as many hosts as the game cares to in our flight around the room and then just leave and have done with it nothing to do here two of diamonds two. whatever diamonds. temperance also is of no value I mean really we should put that down next to a potential secret room or something but seriously yes. look down brilliant took the lucky toe to try and accommodate any bad luck we may be having but God. <laughs> is Bob's Rotten Head better than not stacks? Maybe. Let's get here. How are you not dead? How are you not even slightly dead? I hit you with Bob's Rotten Head. You took poison damage and explosive damage. Yeah, Bob's Rotten Head could be good for us actually, simply because we don't take any damage from explosions ourselves. We got killed, so I don't give a shit. Um, nine lives, as you can see, is probably a good pickup, even though it has given us devil precedent. Look, I'm just doing lost runs for now. If we fail this one, I'm probably going to call it a day and call that an episode. Um, and then at some point in the future, we will get <laughs> a deal with the devil that I'm actually not tempted by. I mean, so far we've had nine lives. We died on the previous lost run before we got to a deal with the devil. And before that, we had an Isaac run, which gave us brimstone, which is no way I'm not taking. But also we got... Judgment. Ooh, yes. Anything but HP. Also, on the Isaac room, we did get chaos, so there was a chance that we still made what we wanted to happen happen. But unfortunately, it didn't give us the items we needed. It gave us Cambian Conception, but we needed Immaculate Conception. So, Godhead, Immaculate Conception, Crown of Light. Whenever you want to show up, that's fine with me. Devil. Ah, that's slightly better than a shit pill. Look down, right? Yeah. Checking I hadn't swapped my pill out for something amazing and not noticed on the way past. Anything but HP. The map would be great. But 
Don't let me pressure you into that. Excuse me, how much money do you want? Yeah, fuck you. You did it to yourself. You did. And that's what really hurts. Excuse me. Less of this nonsense, please. You see that shit? He trapped me in the corner. Honestly, I probably should have been able to um, use the refractory period on Holy Mantle to get out of there. <laughs> it hadn't occurred to me. Oh, I'm going so slowly. I've not quite got the hang of how slowly I'm moving. Nor the hitbox on these. Apparently, I am completely incapable of remembering the hitbox on these. There we go. Then. And we're done. Right. Don't take damage in here. Yeah, on this fucking room. Nice one. This killed us last time. You turn into two. That is not okay. Uh, for real, though. Can you not be doing this? Let's leave. I'm out of here. Boom. That was a terrible curse room. Definitely not worth my time. We have already got ceremonial robes. So what are we hoping for? The mark, I guess, or the pact, or something like that. Balls of steel would have been great on any other run. On any other run, we wouldn't have been panicking. Because we're going to die all the time. Every now and then, Rainbow Baby causes a status effect to these enemies that is actually helpful. But more often than not, Rainbow Baby is barely doing any effects at all. So. I like those things for exploding those things for me. What? Right, we have a... Uh, Spectral Tears, so Bob's Rotten Head goes straight through the wall. Yeah, take that for the three points that it gives you. Mom fight. Now, Mom, the reason I said... Um, what did we pick up? Pyromaniac helps us with the Mom fight. Is that Mom's foot is explosive damage only. It's not contact damage. So we're immune to it. So it can land on us as much as it damn well likes to. That would have been a great time for that Tinter Drop to have been small rock. I would have been super pleased by that. No? Too generous game. I don't want us to tell you how to you know, live your life. I don't want to tell you how to do your job. But it would have been extremely generous of you to have given me a damage upgrade at this stage. Deal with the devil though would be nice. I mean... Have we taken red heart damage? Can we just talk about this a little bit? When we've got nine lives as the lost and we get hit, it obviously causes us to die. Does it also count as taking red heart damage? In terms of deal with the devil. We did get a deal with the devil, but that's not conclusive at all. It is Krampus, which means we might as well just die in here. Especially in this tiny fucking room. What is this shit? Yep, yep, yep. Could try it again. I mean, did we get... We must have got the goat head. Did I get the goat head? I don't think I got the goat head. I don't want anything... Uh, I want the lump of coal, but not that much. And I don't really care for Krampus' head. I mean, it's better than Bob's rotten head, but I don't want to go through the effort to get it. Because that's a lot of effort, right? It's not like it's a trivial... Oh, hello. Glad I spotted you before you caused me too much of a mischief. So, I think I think not playing Krampus' games there was the right thing to do. When it pops up and then just doesn't do anything, it just disappears again, and your tears still haven't travelled to it. Like, what am I even... Am I here? <laughs> Answers. Yeah, we'll just use that. We are going the right way, but we do have to go through this large room, which doesn't fill me with confidence uh, at all. Help, help. Having the ability to fly here is very strong indeed. Uh, we took a hit, but not a majorly important hit. Not too concerned about the cursed room. We're just going to try and press on through this. We're doing well. We've got as far as the womb. We have died a few times, but that's basically why you take nine lives as the lost. How did you avoid damage there? Bastards. Uh, there's a bomb. Why do I not take the bomb? Because I'm a maverick. Because I'm ridiculous. Wow. We dodged. Did you see that we dodged through that thing's neck? Um, I don't really like to draw attention to it in case the universe realizes its mistake and rewinds and suddenly we turn out to be dead and this timeline never happened and all the things that have happened in the few, few seconds since I uttered these sentences rewind and become undone and the whole universe has reset itself to some earlier time that is somehow less pure. But it didn't. <laughs> it's 
so we're okay. We're gonna get this bomb. And we'll go into the secret room to see what we have on offer here. Finding it on the long side is not one of my uh, great strengths. Super secret room is usually stuff we can't deal with as a loss. We don't really need it. Uh, yeah, black hearts and shit like that. Yeah, thanks for firing in the exact direction that I needed you not to fire in. And well done to Bob's Rotten Head for missing completely. It's not like we count on it to do any damage at all. Which is true, I do not count on it to do any damage at all. But when I fire it, I like it to actually have an effect. Seems to have a shittest hitbox of all things. Money. I'm not even going to waste the time on it because we have spectral tears, which make that thing impossible to deal with. How do we deal with this room? In any situation. Why am I stuck in the middle of these spiders? Can we talk about this? I couldn't figure out how to get out of those spiders. They were all cuddling up to me. It's like a fucking kitten party. Just leave me alone. I'm not down with that. I did not consent to this touch. Big spiders, so. Oh, finally, Robo Baby's doing like one thing ever. Okay, good. It's really a matter of orbiting them, but I managed to get into a situation where that was just not going to happen. The lovers. Alas. I heard the horseman is dead. I missed. Did I miss? I think I missed. How is Bob's Rotten Head capable of missing walls? It has missed everything I've fired it at so far, including the wall, which is just hilariously terribly bad. Luckily, Headless Horseman has killed its own head, so I guess you take the rough and smooth. We want a horse? No, because we can already fly. Well, <laughs> we have to beat Mom's heart with only a damage upgrade, with uh, a meat damage upgrade, and a ceremonial rope damage upgrade. That is our entire benefit so far. We've got no more bosses. To help us, we've got no more item rooms to help us. This is it until the chest. So, uh, here we go, I suppose. We don't even get the benefit of permanent Polaroid invincibility because we have to actually take damage for the invincibility to take effect. Take damage, we respawn in the previous room. Let's bait this thing to explode. Does no, not gonna do it. Okay. Anything that is not shit. <laughs> that was a great opportunity for you to give me Steven or Cricket's head or anything like that, but in fact you gave me nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. A trinket that we have no value. No use for. This is um troublesome. That was a very good idea. I should have done that earlier. Where did the other one go? I'm trying to avoid these fucking heads as well. Maybe we accidentally uh, rotten babied it. Rotten baby? Oh yeah, let's do this run again. Then. This floor has been good to us so far. We should definitely do another one of this room. Floor. Five room. Is there anything this floor can give us? But I think we should do it again for Probably not. Well, here we go. Not really doing the amount of damage I'd like to be doing just to get rid of these. Oh, it's already hit me. Turrets. Like, how are you supposed to deal with that turret in that situation? Okay, I have this. I mean, the flies are helping, but they're not helping, helping. Got hit. If the turret hits you, you're basically fucked, but I don't know how not to get the turret to hit me, right? Unless you just get there in time. We're not doing enough damage to kill it once we've got a feed on it. And it spawned underneath me! What? <laughs> Stop doing this. That was it. That's the end. I'm fucking sick of that lost run. We had so little damage. Ceremonial robes and meat. Oh, and Jesus juice. Fair enough. But still, we couldn't get rid of any of those turrets before they shot us. Which is just not enough damage as the loss because they're too difficult to dodge. You know what I mean? The, you can't. I, ha I still can't predict when they're going to fire. 
And it does seem to be random, it doesn't seem to be regular. If it's regular, it's such a distance that I can't keep track of it. So, having that little damage and not really being able to get rid of the enemies that were threatening us, that were controlling the space before they shot us and hit us and killed us, it was doomed from the start, but we got that far, which I'm quite happy with. But yeah, come back for the next episode when we will hopefully not random the lost. Uh, and we'll see if we can get one of the three items we need. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you.